Hello, my name is Joshua Morrison, an investment analyst here at True Potential. Today I'm going to touch upon several interesting stories that came up this past week relating to the latest OECD data as well as America's S&P 500 index hitting a record high. The OECD is the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development. Each month it publishes their Composite Leading Data or CLI for 33 member countries such as the UK, US and European states in addition to six non-members such as Brazil and Russia. Essentially, the CLI uses an algorithm compiling data from each of these member countries looking at factors such as manufacturing production, employment levels and business confidence. The latest data demonstrates that the overall global economy is showing signs of sensitivity, which is hardly surprising given the backdrop of pressures in Europe, ongoing US-China trade discussions and Brexit. However, in the midst of all this, there are several economies showing some strong signs of improvement. The chart on the screen shows that 35% of all OECD members and non-members have been reporting month-on-month -month improvements. To put this into context, this is the highest proportion since 2017, in which time results have been as low as 11%. Looking away from the OECD and steering instead toward the main US market index, this being the S&P 500, we can see that it reached a record high this week, boosted by solid corporate earnings from major companies such as Coca-Cola and Twitter. Looking in more detail at the OECD data, what's caught our eye is the economies which sit within this camp. Pulling away from the developed nations are the major emerging markets which have been implementing policy developments to drive economic growth. These include many of the nations we've discussed in recent weeks, including India, Brazil and China, who the OECD recognise as demonstrating signs of improvement in their manufacturing data. The recent success of the S&P 500 will be cheered by investors. Positive performance in the US has an impact globally. With the latest high, it signaled that America's economy is in good shape. As well as economic, it may also have political impact also with the US President Donald Trump capitalising on this week's news as a success story for his administration. Trump is looking to keep the US economy strong in a bid to make his re-election theme for 2020. Whilst we see a rebound in the composite leading data, this barometer of global growth should keep investors' nerves quelled. Moreover, with more US earnings being reported daily, we could see a continuation of the positive news that has emanated so far for the first four months of 2019. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to ensure you never miss out on our weekly updates. Thank you for watching.